So in this video, I will show you how to program the two-point formula into your TI-83, TI-84 calculator. And two-point formula is when you're given uh, two points of a line and you are asked to find the slope and the y-intercept. So this program will help you find it. And we're going to start by creating a new program. So go ahead and hit the program button and right-click over to new, create new. Uh, you can name it as you wish. I'm going to go ahead and name it uh, two point formula. Hit enter. And uh, we're going to, uh, the calculator is asking, you know, or you want the calculator to ask, what are your two points? So we start by hitting program, which I just did on that screen. And this is what will show up. You right click over one and you go down to prompt hit enter and your first point which will be X and Y so uh, I'm gonna go ahead and name them X so I just hit X alpha X comma alpha Y so that'll be your first point X and your Y and you're gonna be um, uh, given a second point so Go ahead, hit comma. I'm going to name them um, U and V. So alpha U, comma, alpha V. So now we have two points, X, Y, and X2, two, Y2. Two. So first, um, we're going to hit enter on that. And we're going to um, find our slope, which, as you already know, is Y2 minus Y1 divided by X2 minus X1, or rise over run. So we're going to open parentheses and we're going to subtract uh, y from v. So v first, so alpha v minus alpha y. Close the parentheses and you're going to divide that by x2 minus x1. So u, so alpha u minus alpha x and close the parentheses and what we're going to do is we're going to store it to store it you go down to the store button which is right above your on button so go ahead and click the store button which should appear as a little arrow and I'm going to store it in another letter so alpha m is what I'm going to call it for um, y equals mx plus b and you can go ahead and hit enter after that now I'm gonna go ahead and try and find uh, B or the y-intercept so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use that slope so alpha M I'm gonna multiply it by the negative X you see you need to plug in one of your XY values in so I'm gonna do the first one so minus uh, I'm sorry uh, negative um, which is on your bottom here uh, alpha X And I'm going to go ahead and just store that. Again, store right above the on button. Uh, and I'm just going to pick a random letter J. J. So I'm going to store it in J. And now our neg uh, I'm going to do is I'm going to do a negative alpha Y. And I'm just going to go ahead and store that too. And do another random. I'm going to do K. So now we have j, we will do j, which is our first value, uh, minus alpha k. And I'm going to store that, so again, store button into another random letter, uh, r, r works fine, so alpha r. And, and there we go. Now uh, go ahead and hit enter, and now we're going to uh, display our answer. So hit the program button here uh, right click over one and go down to display and we're gonna display our slope uh, so first we're gonna go ahead and hit alpha and we're gonna go down to open quotation marks which should be above your plus sign or actually there we go and we're gonna call that slope so 
S L O P E, and we have to close the par uh, parent the quotation marks. So again, quotation marks. So it should look like that. Hit enter, and you're gonna display again. So hit program, right click over, down three, display, and you want to display your M. So alpha M. However, um, what, what I'm gonna uh, suggest is that you display it in a fraction, because a lot of the times teachers will ask, you know, for your answers to be in fractions. So after doing M right here, go ahead and hit the math button below the alpha button, and it should be the first one that pops up um, into fraction. So enter, and so it'll display your answer, your slope, into a fraction. Hit enter, and we're gonna do the uh, we're gonna do the same thing for um, for your y-intercept. So uh, program again. I just hit program. Right click, clicked over and down to display, and you can call this uh, whatever um, you know. You can call it y-intercept. Whatever will help you remember what it is. So quotation marks. I'm just gonna do. I'm just gonna call it b alpha b because of the uh, f formula y equals mx plus b so this will be your y y intercept um, and so I gotta close the quotation marks hit enter and we're gonna we want to display our r which is gonna be our um, our y intercept so I'll go ahead and hit program right click over to display and alpha r again I'm gonna do a fraction in case the answer isn't very pretty fraction and that this concludes the uh, the program so you can quit now so just hit second quit and you have now created a new program now let's let's test it out uh, say that we are given this problem here where uh, an example problem this says find the slope of a line that goes through the points uh, 3 8 and negative three, negative four. So, um, as you can see, three eight. So, uh, three over eight up, and negative three, negative four. So we're going to find the the, um, the slope of that line. So we're going to hit um, hit program, and we're going to execute our program so this is the one we just created hit enter again it's asking for your first x so our first x was 3 8 and so we're gonna hit 3 y would be 8 u which would be your second point negative 3 negative 4 so uh, type in negative 3 and negative 4 and if everything uh, was done right, you should be getting your slope and your b. Uh, as you can see, your slope is 2, um, and your y-intercept is positive 2 as well. So as we can see in the, um, in the, in the formula, there's a uh, rise over run. So it would be going 1, 2 over 1, which is, which is your slope. And it crosses the y-intercept at positive 2. So feel free to use this for any of your classes and um, um, feel free to subscribe as well or ask me uh, any other um, formulas you have out there that you want to program for that you want to help with uh, feel free to just leave a comment down below and uh, I'll get started working on that